Are you starting your journey with SharePoint Online? My name is Szymon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 AdWork. In this video, I will teach you how to create your first SharePoint sites. SharePoint Online is a fundamental application in the Office 365. This app is used for hosting your data, to create the site structure and to present information to your users and to navigate them through other applications or other systems in your organization, in your portfolio. In this very initial tutorial, I would like to introduce you to the very basic functionality of the SharePoint Online that you need to know how to create SharePoint sites, how to use them, what are the differences and how to speed up this process using available functionalities or maybe some kind of extensions available from Microsoft. If you will like this video, I would like to ask you to leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the further videos, please subscribe. And one more thing. If you would be interested in more advanced training materials about SharePoint Online, you will be able to register here for the dedicated training for the role of SharePoint Consultant. You will find additional information about this program on website office365adwork.com slash sp or by scanning QR code presented on the screen. Now I will move on to my screen and present you the process of creating the SharePoint site, the main differences between the types of the sites that are available there. And at the end of the video, I will share with you a few additional videos that are already available on this channel that could help you to speed up the process of rolling out of the first SharePoint sites in your Office 365 environment. And as always, your journey with the Office 365, you starting on the office.com website and one of the applications you will found here will be SharePoint Online. As soon as you will navigate to your SharePoint landing page, you will recognize all already created SharePoint sites that are available in here and two main buttons that could be useful for you in your first steps with SharePoint Online. In this case, we will focus on the Create SharePoint Site button and we will start the process of the creation of the SharePoint site. First thing we need to focus about are the types of the SharePoint sites that are available on your SharePoint environment in the Office 365. So first of all, we have the team site and the communication site. During this video, I will show you what are the main differences between them and navigates you when to use which template in your environment. In this video, I'm presenting how to create the site from perspective of your web browser and the SharePoint Online application, but SharePoint site could be also created behind Microsoft Teams team. In the other videos on this channel, you will find detailed information when the sites are created. But one thing you need to remember at the very beginning that always behind SharePoint site, you will get the team site. So before we will start the creation process, one thing which you need to remember, the first step which you will need to do is to select the template you want to use. There's no option to convert already created SharePoint site from one template to another. So in your case, you will need to choose wisely when you're creating your SharePoint site. If you want to build collaboration space for the multiple people, when you will work on the files, maybe publish some announcements, but for the dedicated, nominated group of people and maybe collaborate on that data, select the team site. This is mostly private collaboration space for the name group of people. 
if you want to build a space when you will mostly inform people about the documents or announcements in your organizations so there will be group of people that will deliver the content but most of the users will just consume that kind of data by viewing that data select communication site so let's start with that kind of SharePoint site. So let's start with the communication site. You can see in the process when you're creating your communication site, there's no that much data you need to prepare here. The only thing you need to do is to select the site name, address and the description. You can imagine that you want to build the landing page for your frontline workers where you will publish specific information for that kind of employees there. And you can see SharePoint already proposing you the address and checking if this address is available. One thing which I would recommend you simplify and cut the length of that kind of website to have site address which will be as simple as possible. If you can add also some kind of description in here, and you can also select the native language for this site. Remember that you can create multilingual site. On this channel, you will find the video how to set up that kind of SharePoint site. So let's create that kind of site. In a few moments, this SharePoint site will be provisioned and almost ready for you. Remember that all functionalities will be provisioned in maybe two, three minutes. So don't be surprised if some small error messages will appear in this period of time, but shortly that kind of SharePoint site will be fully available for you. One thing which you can see, Microsoft also provides you some kind of ready to use templates that you can use to customize the look and feel of your SharePoint site. When you will browse the templates, you can see available templates that you can use to customize the look and feel of your SharePoint site. This is something that could really sp speed up the process of customization of the SharePoint site. Moreover, on the screen, you will find the link to the SharePoint lookbook, which is the tool that could deploy very complex SharePoint templates on your Office 365. Check that video, this could also speed up your process. So let's go back to your SharePoint site. What you can see, landing page is ready for you. Some web parts are already deployed. You can configure them and customize the look and feel and add, remove the SharePoint web parts in here. Moreover, behind the SharePoint page, you will get the library where you can store the documents and the native pages library where all additional pages will be created directly in here. One thing which is quite unique, you can see the navigation is built on top of the site. There's no quick launch navigation on the left side of the screen but more or less the functionality of the SharePoint page is exactly the same. You can create the posts, you can create the document libraries, lists and other stuff. The only difference is the purpose. The approach to use it will be to build the space where you can provide information for the people inside of your organization where these people can join that site and view that information and take a look how that kind of SharePoint site could looks like. You can make that site look very professional, deliver a lot of content. And what is most important, there's no custom code used to deliver that kind of solution for your end users. Again, in the linked video, you will found the super fast way to build that kind of template for your landing page or intranet based on SharePoint lookbook. So let's get back to the team site and see how that kind of site looks like. So we get back to the creation process of the new SharePoint site. In this time, we would like to build the team site that will be dedicated for the group of people that will work on the same data, collaborate. You can see that when we pasting the name of the site, we already get the email address and site address we know from the previous screen, from the communication site. 
Why are we getting group email address? Because for this specific SharePoint site, you will also get Microsoft 365 group, which contains shared email address, which could be extended for the planner, teams, and other functionalities that could extend the way how you collaborate with other people. These functionalities are not available for the communication site, so you can see this kind of setup gives you much more possibilities to extend the way how you collaborate with each other. So again, you can add the site description and decide who can join that kind of team site. Everyone in the organization or only the members that you will assign to this site. And again, you can select the language for this site. When you are ready, move to the next step. And in the next step, you can see that your site is already created in the background. So this is the process of provisioning that already started. And you can add additional team members are ready to share the access to the site. As soon as you will add the member, you can decide if that person should be the members. So have the edit rights or should be the owner. So person who have full control on this site. So as soon as you will do that, finish the process and enjoy the new team site. As soon as your team site is created, you can see we have the quick navigation on the left side. The template is a little different. We have already document library available in here, plus activity across the group that is created behind and possibility to create also the team in Microsoft Teams that will support the collaboration here. You can see this is much more collaboration oriented way of working for the SharePoint site, but main SharePoint functionalities are the same for both templates. And one more thing, from perspective of the security, you can maintain the membership of people that are added to this site based on the roles that you will assign owner or member. From perspective of the SharePoint site itself, you can also add the planner to this specific space added in the SharePoint or any other standard functionalities. So one more time, if you want to build the space that will be some kind of landing page, information page or intranet portal, use communication site. If you want to build the collaboration space for a group of people, use team site template for your SharePoint site. And just one more thing, how that kind of SharePoint site could look like if you use team site template. This is also the way how this team site could look like just using the available templates that are present on your SharePoint site. You can see the process is super easy. So now is the time to create your first SharePoint sites. Now you should have better understanding what kind of SharePoint sites are available on your Microsoft 365 tenant, how to create them and what are the main differences between them. You can see the process is not that very complex, but at the same time, it's good to have this fundamental knowledge about creation of the site, because this will be the probably first thing you will do on your SharePoint environment in the Office 365. In the series SharePoint Basics, I will also introduce you to few additional fundamental components that are present on SharePoint Online and help you to create them and use them for your business scenarios in your organization. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.